What's going on Twitch and YouTube? Welcome to episode 34 of the USS Cerritos tutorial. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode. And if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. Today we got about a 29 minute video. We'll be picking up where we left off, getting some work done on uh, the shuttle bay. And um, I've gone ahead and filled in the remainder of the floor as I indicated in uh, episode 33 with the blue concrete. So now uh, we'll be caught up and we can go ahead and continue. So right now I'm gonna try to, in the middle triangle here, build out something that kind of resembles a Starfleet logo. That's probably about as close as we're gonna get at this scale. It doesn't look horrible, but at least it's there. It matches the picture which is what we're going for. Yeah, a lot of today is going to be uh, kind of um, forming the room up a little bit better. I mean, we've got a good, pretty decent base to work off of here. Uh, right now, it's just a matter of cleaning up uh, the shapes that we currently have. And um, <clears throat> this is something that... Uh, I've done a couple of times in the past with my other ships, but not as uh, much that we're going to be doing today, um, because uh, the shuttle bay, for the most part, I really didn't have a clear idea as far as the structure, the form, the walls, and everything. Other than the back wall, what you see to the uh, right in front of us, I didn't have a clear indi uh, idea of exactly what I wanted to do outside of some concept art uh, pictures. But so I'm really, you know, using the shapes that we have developed based off of adding the corridors on the ship on uh, the shuttle base section, and um, I think that's going to help. But uh, really, what we're going to need to do is kind of trim away some little bit of uh, the leftovers here and there, and add in some half slabs and clean up a lot of this, make it look nice and pretty. We're going to add a divider here directly in the middle, just to give some uh, definition. In the this may end up changing. Um, I'm making this the same color of a uh, corridor walkway because I want this to stand out. But I have a feeling at some point, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be coming back and adjusting this, at least the floor in the middle right here, um, come up with a better pattern. See, I'm doing the doorway right here on the opposite, uh, actually the back end of the saucer. We're going to be taking that out. You can leave that in if you want to, but this whole back wall that you see in front of us, we're going to be converting that for uh, ports for uh, all the shuttlecraft, which I think will be uh, pretty cool. So see, this is exactly what I'm talking about, starting to edge up and get rid of some of the access here to clean this up. Get rid of that block here. We can fill this in with a white concrete, and then we can fix a uh, white concrete that's built into the gray we can actually make that all solid right there there's a bunch of stuff that we're gonna be doing here in a few moments <coughs> all right I have a pretty decent amount of room to work with here um, I mean I, I said it in uh, yesterday's episode. This is hands down the biggest shuttle bay that I've made so far. And uh, when I make the Enterprise D, the Enterprise D will be the biggest shuttle bay ever. It's just going to be bigger than this. Um, but I think it'll uh, it's going to look pretty good when it's done. Um, and you can see I'm getting back into what we going on, what we got going on here. I'm trying to level out the roof here so on this uh, cut when we look back up it's too wide I'm going to make it three wide and we're just going to go with that three pattern going all the way up and going with the cut and that's because we're going to fill in everything behind that so this way it looks a little bit more smoother in the roof and in not so incomplete that's what we need right there another sea lantern this was a little bit dark I'm going to get rid of that make that three perfect so now we're going to do three and then go up with the cut and do another three up with a cut, and another three, and I'm just going to keep doing that until we get all the way down. And this lip, we're going to bring this all the way, going with the cut line that we just added. 
and don't worry about having access because everything behind this line we're going to fill it in it's a little bit dark right there i actually need to get the lighting system figured out in here which is why you see the sea lanterns kind of all over the places i'm not certain on what i want to do um as you can see i'm trying to kind of come up with like a pretty pattern here for the roof and um, i came up with this uh, specifically because of the indentation that's on the other on the exact opposite side of the saucer on the top side um, i'm just trying to make it look a little bit cooler you know but at the same time i still want to i don't want to fill in too much of this because we want to keep the scale we want to keep it as big as possible Just by this change alone, it's going to help the ceiling to look a lot nicer. And I think that's a problem that a lot of people have when I see people build on Minecraft, is that like they'll start to have a, an idea like this, but they won't go back and clean up their build. And I mean, there's there's no shame in it. There's nothing wrong with it. You see me doing it right now, and that's sometimes what you just got to do um, to make it you know, come up uh, to that next level. But what I've found to make it go even farther is staying consistent with the cut lines and having those patterns and having it match up layer to layer. Um, I think the ships just look a lot better that way. But that's just my own personal preference on it. Um, but then again, I've had a lot of people say the same thing, that they really like uh, the way that I've built the ships on here. And I think it's become true at this point that you can take this basic idea and apply it to any build. And uh, it'll work because this is really... Um, my first dip outside of building outside of the Shatner era ships. And uh, you can definitely do it. You can apply it to almost anything. And I mean, granted, as you go, the, I mean, you could pick a super hard build and it may not come out perfect the first time. But, you know, if you keep working at it and you apply these same methods, you should be able to just fine. I see that looks so much cleaner just by doing that and filling all that in. Still have to do this back portion here. But now you can see, you know, just one of the things that you can do to make your ship look a lot nicer. I mean, we could have honestly left it alone, and I don't think anyone would have batted an eye at it, but, you know, we filled it in. So I went ahead and I skipped ahead to when I filled all of that in. So you're going to just keep going with that and fill all that in. Once you do, pick up with me, and then we're going to go back again. We're going to get rid of this rope access here that we have, because we don't need it. We want this whole ceiling on this back end to be completely flat really not going to start curving up until you get towards uh, the back wall that we have going towards the front of the ship. So I'm throwing down a couple of extra sea lanterns. Sorry, I can be bad about that sometimes. I'll just start building away and I won't even think about the fact that it's dark because I can see it. But uh, I've been trying to make a point to uh, get those sea lanterns on there, so I can definitely even see it on recording now. It's sometimes a little bit dark. So now we're on the side corridors. We're just going to add another row on the bottom side, because basically we're just going to cover up this outside detail, because we don't want this to show up on the outside. I mean, we could, and we could just, you know, have it double as detail on this side, but um, covering it up, at least... Um, we won't, we won't be restricted to using this design pattern where we can just come up with whatever we decide to do um, for a color palette pattern or whatever else, you know. But that definitely looks good right there, the way that's tucked in. Um, that came out exactly how I wanted it to. That's what I had a second ago. We're just going to do a row across the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I believe we're going to add another row on top of that. Co actually cover up that dark gray line. There we go. Get some more light up in here. We also need to cover up that white terracotta pillar. You 
can see that I'm just adding another layer. I'm going with the pre-existing cut line that we have. I'm just adding another row and bringing it up to clean up the shape a little bit more. And now we're going to go up, add another layer going back. So this way there's just a one block lip. That's what we want on that pattern on this section right here. See, that looks so much cleaner now. Let's do the same thing on this side. I'm looking good. We're going to go up again. want to make sure that there's just one block on the lip. Over the right side. See, the, these are the rules that I start setting for myself when I'm building something. And my primary reason for doing this, obviously, because I don't want to make a mistake and I want both sides. I mean, they're supposed to look the same. So this is a way that you can do this yourself. And see, just by that simple pattern, I honestly think that looks so much cleaner than it did just a few moments ago. That whole piece now looks like it's way more integrated into the shuttle bay now than it was a few moments ago. That, that looks freaking awesome. All right, now we're gonna do some pinstripe detail on the entrance way. You can see I'm leaving one block. I'm just going one back. So we want one, we want a row of the half slabs. That's in the very front, the white half slabs, and then a row of gray directly behind it. And then that, behind that row is what we're taking out right now. Then we're gonna go back and fill that in with the yellow. Everything else behind it, we're actually gonna get rid of until we get up to the white row. Or excuse me, not the white row, until we get up to uh, the blue. And even that strip of the cyan and the dark blue, we're gonna get rid of that too. This is all just gonna be blue. Wanna make sure that you do not delete this white terracotta line right here. Need, that needs to stay. And granted, I'm not going to lie, this uh, blue surface, it does kind of look a little bit retro on it. But my main reason for doing this is because that screenshot that I pulled up yesterday um, that I'm using as a reference for this uh, portion of the build, I noticed that the floor in the shuttle bay was blue. So I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna, you know, own it and do that for the whole floor of the shuttle bay. And of course, you know, we'll do different detailing uh, with different colors. So it doesn't look so plain, but uh, I think that's gonna be another feature that's gonna help this thing stand out a little bit. Because once we, uh, Get this to a more complete form. I think it's actually going to look quite pretty in here. You know, I'm not uh, building this verbatim exactly to uh, the reference that we used. We talked a little bit about that yesterday. That pretty much what I did for uh, the shuttle bay is that I took that screenshot of the Cerritos uh, engineer, I keep calling it engineer, uh, the Cerritos shuttle bay, and I grabbed some screenshots of the Enterprise D shuttle bay and I kind of just fused them together. Um, and see, now we're doing that row of yellow. Directly behind that, that's all going to be just the regular. I think that will look pretty good. Yeah, you know, I just... Um, there's not that many screenshots, unfortunately, of the uh, Serrata shuttle bay, but the, the design that I came up with, this just kind of made sense. That you would have, if you've got two shuttle bays in this angle, that it would just, the shuttle bay would just encompass this section of the ship. That just makes complete sense to me. And uh, I just decided to run with it, and I'm not sure how accurate it is, but um, I haven't had anyone say anything negative about it so far. And it was at this moment that I just realized I done messed up. Because everything I just filled in here, I'm using cyan instead of the regular blue. 
So, you can see, right at that moment, I stopped recording and uh, took a break. And I came back and I filled it in off camera. So I want to make sure that right behind that yellow line, everything is this, this right here. middle lines right here to get my center. And I'm just kind of trying to build like a, uh, a runway indicator. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I like that. All right, so I think we're going to run with that. We're going to do the same detailing on this side now. You can see I'm going off the middle three cuts going directly next to each other. And we're four back, and then we're going to go over one. Same thing on this side, and then repeat the same process on the left side. See, that helps a little bit more too. And you start coming up to the ship, and you get closer and start, and you can actually see inside of the shuttle bay, and you can see the runway. You know, all these things are going to help to come together to make this thing pop a little bit more. Now, I don't think we're done with it. Um, we still got a lot of, we got a ton of work to do on this thing. Um, we're not even done on the outside. There's still some pinstriping and stuff I, I've got to do, and uh, I still want to explore to see if I can come up with uh, um, an Aztec patterning that'll work on Minecraft for the Cerritos. And you see this row right here, everything, literally the top two row uh, lines, we're just swapping out from anything that's white right here in the top two rows, we're swapping that over to uh, the light gray. I need to actually swap that block out right there. There we go. And even that one. All right. See, and this is where I'm talking about cleaning up your build. If you just left that alone, I mean, would you see something like that on a starship? That's just kind of how I look at it. And, um, if you put this much work into it, you might as well finish it and see it through. But, I mean, that's just what it takes to get a ship of this detail. You just got to keep working at it is basically what I'm getting at. And keep messing with it until uh, you feel that it's done. And you'll kind of know. I mean, you'll get you'll just get to a point that you're happy with how it looks and you can't think of anything else and you need to change on it. And then you'll just move on to the next thing, you know. So now we're going to go in and do a row of half slabs in this area here, going along the roof in the corner. This is again to clean up this area, make it look a little bit nicer. I feel that when you have that transition of the half slabs, it tends to look nicer than having a full block. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah, see, that looks so much nicer like that. I mean, there's still a couple of things we got to do in here, too, because um, even after we get done with this, uh, we won't get a chance to do it in today's episode, uh, but uh, later on we'll, uh, we're going to work on lighting, and then we also have to get those uh, shuttle bay ports added in. But um, <clears throat> I think everybody will be pretty happy with how this shuttle bay looks. It's going to be completely unique and uh, to the Cerritos and totally design this room specifically off of how this thing was built and if you're new to my channel you're just checking my channel out for the first time in this uh, video then uh, go back and watch this whole series I show you how to build this thing from beginning to where we are now we're not even done we've got more stuff to do on the interior because we're gonna try to build a 
complete, well, as close to a complete interior as we can for the Cerritos. And we got a lot of cool stuff to come in the future, too, of, uh, once we're, uh, done with the Cerritos, we're gonna be working on Enterprise D. I'm gonna be building a lot of ships from the next generation era for a while, and then, uh, um, after that, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. But I'm still kind of thinking about what my next build is going to be after the Enterprise D. Um, I know it won't be another Enterprise, but uh, for those that want to see me build the other Enterprises, don't get discouraged. Those things aren't going anywhere, and I will put it this way. I feel it's one point or another, I'm going to build every single Enterprise that we've seen. Um, including the one that was also in Star Trek Online, but I'm not sure the order that they're going to come in, and I'm trying to do them in the relevancy of the order that people comment on and what I'm feeling at, uh, in the moment. Because that's also very important, too. you got to build what you're passionate about, because if you're not passionate about something, um, it, get, it can become very difficult to get on and do this level of work if you can't get behind it. Um, but I really haven't had that problem with the builds that I've done so far. Uh, they've all... Uh, come out pretty pretty good even uh the discovery uh that i did um i had a lot of people praise that build but with that one specifically i actually made some mistakes on it there were some things that i rushed on it specifically on the saucer and the lower hull and it didn't come out proportion wise the way i would have wanted it to um which brings me to my next thing i've had a ton of people uh if there is one ship i've had a lot of people ask me for it's the discovery a and I fully intend to build that ship. I'm just waiting to get some uh, a model or a 3D model, something where I can get where I can actually see this thing in a 3D view and see the different angles on it. Uh, because my main concern with that, because I, I feel like I can build most of the ship, is not going to be a problem. Um, but really, I noticed the belly of the lower hull. They drastically changed that from the original Discovery, and the neck. The neck looks more like the Enterprise D in the back. And go back and watch the show or see if you can find screenshots to see where I'm talking about. But there's certain angles that I'm iffy on with it. And I basically, I don't want to put all that work in, uh, do something short a second time. So I want to wait until I get something where I'm a little bit happier, well, a little bit more comfortable with uh, what I have as a reference. And then I'm going to tackle it. But I'm actually excited to build the Discovery. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, that will be after, um, I know this much, it'll be after I'm done working on this, at least this set of next generation era ships. Um, and even after that, I'm sure at some point I'll probably come back to next generation. Uh, we're not obviously going to sit here long enough to build out every ship, because like I said, I'm doing this based off of what the community wants to see me build and the stuff that I can get behind based off of that. So I'm going to be hopping all over the place. Um, so definitely let me know the ships that you want to see me build in the comment section. Definitely would love to hear from you. Uh, even if it's just a comment and say hello. Or if uh, you have a question, drop a comment below. I'm usually pretty responsive in the comment section. Uh, I know I don't call everything out like I'm doing right here. You can see we're just doing full blocks going along the roof. But believe it or not, a lot of this stuff, uh, I don't really need to call it out. I'm doing this as a, at a pace that you can keep up with me. I'm calling out the things that I feel that are important. But for whatever reason, if you get stuck somewhere, let me know in the comments section. I'll try to see what I can do to help. Um, also, while I'm working on this, if there are specific rooms that you want to see me add on the Cerritos, now is the time to ask me. Because once I'm done with the interior, well, put it this way. Once I'm done with the, with the tutorial series, I'm more than likely not going to be coming back to the build. Unless there's something drastically needed that I have to add on it. I don't think that would happen unless like there's a specific episode that would come out that they would show something that it would feel warranted that it's like okay like I need to maybe do an extra episode and add this in but so take that in mind you know if you have something that you want to see me do specifically you know drop a comment below if I get uh, some people asking uh, for it and it's something I feel that uh, y'all would want to see then I'll definitely add that in as well but pretty much going to be building out a lot of this if not all of it, there might end up being one or two rooms that I don't show. Um, I did that with the uh, Discovery Enterprise, but they were pretty much mundane rooms. Like, I think it was like the junior officer's quarters. I think that was the only one that I didn't build uh, in the tutorial. But the room was so small that when I went through it, I don't think anybody would have had a problem building it out. 
Uh, and it was just little things like that. And I think we'll do the same thing with the interior for this because um, there really is so much to build for it. And I mean, if you really wanted to, like you could probably stretch this tutorial series out to like 200 episodes easy. Like if you really went through and like just went super, super detailed, you could, it, it, there's really no limit to the amount that you can do it in. But my point is that I'm trying to make it in a, an amount of episodes where you can go through it and you don't feel like it's taking a million years to build it out. Um, but at the same time, you know, it kind of sucks too because my videos, uh, even the the time frame that I've been doing a map within like the 25, 35 minute frame, I feel like I'm almost overstaying my welcome within that. But that sucks because I'm limited on the amount of time that I have in each episode to work on stuff. So there's only so much stuff that I can get done. So I feel like I honestly, I maybe shouldn't even be going five minutes, but at the end of the day, realistically to do something of this scale, uh, we're looking like I have to at least have 25, 35 minutes hands down just to uh, do this and have it be uh, to a quality where other people can do it too. Because that's really my main focus on this. I want uh, to do tutorials on here so that people can get inspired on stuff that, to do on Minecraft because building is just a, such a fun hobby and the way they have it set up on Minecraft is great and uh, I definitely encourage it for a lot of people but uh, the primary focus of this was that I was in the same position as everybody else 10 years ago when I first started doing this I didn't know up from down from building starships and this is all stuff that I've learned over a period of 10 years so hopefully um, the stuff I talk about in these videos my thought process the way I go about building Hopefully this helps you and your quest to build your own ships as well. Um, but if there's stuff I'm not covering, hey, let me know. I'll uh, try to help out as much as I can in the comments section. But I think for the most part, I pretty much cover everything. And these, you know, these videos will get better as I go. Um, I think that what I'm doing now is a lot better than the very first tutorials that I did like with the Mock Enterprise that I did. I think this is uh, coming out a lot better now uh, than I was when I first started because I've gotten more comfortable doing it and uh, I've actually I really enjoy uh, doing these tutorials and these builds because um, I've been surprised with how much fun I've been having with it and uh, it's something I plan on doing indefinitely. I don't plan on going away with this. If anything I'm going to be continuing to do more and more builds so I always need content go off of our ideas so let me know in the comment section please definitely would love to hear from everybody um, you can see here I'm just getting a little bit more detail in the floor here what I'm doing here with this specific line I actually don't know if I'm gonna keep this because I put this down and it just looked out of place to me and I'm just counting it out to make sure that when I go over to this other side here and I add it through the same uh, portions exactly exactly but yeah I have a feeling uh, that yellow L shape I'm gonna take that out but it's at least an indicator to know that I want to do more with the flooring in here and that blue yellow pattern doesn't look bad I might implement or add in another color maybe a gray that wouldn't look bad um, let me know what you would like to see maybe in the comment section um, I'm still actually working on the shuttle bay, so the, your suggestions could definitely be implemented. You'd never know. Because this was uh, one of the harder parts of the build that I've done so far. Um, this and engineering. I'm not. I'm also not done with engineering because uh, there's going to have to be some things I got to pull from the Enterprise D to really flesh that room out. But we'll get into that a little bit more when we're working on it. But. Um, We've still, uh, we've got a lot to do on this build. We've got a lot to do. I feel like we've really only scratched the surface on the interior, but I like the progress that we're making nonetheless. Uh, we'll just kind of see where this falls at as far as how many episodes it's going to go. But I think that's going to wrap us up today. We've gotten a decent amount done. We've really uh, cleaned up the shape of the room. It looks a lot prettier. We've got some more stuff to do with it, though. But uh, we'll tackle that in tomorrow's episode. Anyway... I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to today's uh, content, and if you did enjoy this video, if you can help me out, hit that like and subscribe button, helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. 
new subscribers, don't forget to hit not notifications on so you always get notified when these new videos drop. And speaking of when my new videos drop, don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash zero elite. You can always catch my live stream Sundays through Thursday nights, typically between 9 and 10 p.m. Eastern. Also, don't forget to follow me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash zero elite. You can always catch my new Starship Evo builds on Mondays and my Minecraft videos dropping Tuesdays through Fridays. Those videos drop at 10 a.m. Eastern on YouTube. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week, and I'll catch you in the next episode.